Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bittersweet here on my channel. We are going to be going through the latest fortune cookie soap soap box. This one is for winter 2017 and unfortunately this is going to be the very last box that they come out with, um, at least of the quarterly style. I've really, really enjoyed this box over the years. I've been getting this one for a little over two years now. It is currently the only subscription service that I get. Uh, and I guess they are going to be now focusing on their monthly box. I really, really liked the quarterly style because I could really use the products. I didn't feel bombarded with new products every month from them, but I'm probably one of the only people that feel that way because they are, of course, now focusing on their monthly box instead of this one. Uh, so I am kind of sad about it. Um, I'm not going to be getting the monthly box from them. I just don't feel a need to do that. But yeah, like I said, this is a little bit bittersweet, but let's just go ahead and get into the box. So as with every fortune cookie soap box, this box has a theme and this one is called One Ring to Rule Them All. I'm assuming that that is a Lord of the Rings reference. I have not seen the movies, I have not read the books, so I don't know. I'm probably not going to get any of these references um, and I actually lied. I actually rented the first one when it came out on DVD like back in high school. I think I was able to maybe make it through like an hour of it and it just was not interesting to me so I remember turning it off being really really disappointed because of course that movie was so hyped up when it first came out but it was just not something I could ever get into. But I'm pretty sure that this is a Lord of the Rings reference and that this is going to be an all Lord of the Rings box. Uh, so let's just dive right in and talk about the products. So here's what the box looks like. It's really packaged very, very nicely. I like this purple um, confetti stuff that they've got going on here. And then there is a little gold leaf. They always throw like some kind of little extra in there. And this time it's this little gold leaf. Tell me, does this have any reference to Lord of the Rings? I don't know. Um, maybe it's just the color because it's gold. I have no idea. Um, all right, but let's go ahead and get into the products. Here is the first thing I'm pulling out. This is the Even Star OCD Hand Sanitizer. And I'm not sure how well this is going to come across on camera, but this stuff is absolutely beautiful. It is just packed with different iridescent glitters. Oh my gosh, that is just so much fun. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try, see what we think about the smell, and then we'll go through the notes. Ooh, of course you do get that alcoholy smell like usual, but let's see. Um, okay, and there is a ton of glitter on my hands now, so it's not one that will disintegrate. They put glitter in some of their other hand sanitizers, and I feel like that kind of just disintegrates when you rub it in. This one is not. It is very, very glittery on my hand still, um, and that smells really, really good. I really enjoy that. Let's go ahead and check out the notes. So they're saying that the notes on this one are rain-soaked petals atop dark wild ivy growing over Rivendale with light cedarwood, jasmine, and creamy mouquet, which whatever that is, I'm not sure, um, but it smells really good. That is, that is a really, really nice. I really love that. And usually their OCD hand sanitizers for those scents that they use aren't particularly my favorite usually, um, but I'm loving that. I think that smells amazing. So then here is product number two. I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, you know what? This might be a shampoo bar. They've uh, had those in the past and this kind of looks like that. It is a pretty blue color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and reference this here and figure it out. So this does appear to be a shampoo bar in the scent Melon or Melon, M-E-L-L-O-N. I am really, really sorry about all of these references that are just going whoosh right over my head. Uh, but let's see here. This has scents of Mirkwood Myrrh, Neroli, Burning Incense of Mora, Elderberry, Herbal Tea, Ginger, and Fresh Morning Dew on the Hills of Hobbiton. I think, I think that's what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and smell it and see what we think. Um, they are just putting a lot of different scents in these uh, scents for this uh, particular particular uh, collection so ooh, that smells like incense that really really has a very strong incense smell which I think that was actually one of the notes right yeah burning incense of Mora yes definitely an incensey kind of smell which is interesting for a shampoo but I have liked their shampoo bars in the past I think they work pretty good so I'm really really excited to have another one so moving right along, here is the third product. It's really pretty, it's the screen color and it's stamped with a little leaf if you can see that. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Um, I don't wanna take it out of the package because it does look a little bit messy, but there is a little leaf stamped right on there and this is probably some kind of bath bomb, I would think. Yes, this is the Middle Earth Bath Bomb, and I actually do get that reference. I don't know exactly what it refers to, but I know that is a Lord of the Rings reference, so I think we are in the right realm here uh, with uh, thinking that this is a Lord of the Rings box. Uh, okay, so I don't think I'm totally off thinking that. That is good, because I think it was last year 
or the year before when the elf references just all went over my head. That was quite embarrassing after I figured out that it was an elf box and I had no idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about their bath bomb. I usually give these to my son. He thinks these are a lot of fun. Um, and then the notes on this one are going to be... It says, warmed long bottom leaf, frosted silver birch atop the misty mountains, blue juniper bushes of Pelennor fields, and subtle hints of citrus. Uh, so again, there's just so many different things going on in these scents this time around. Let's go ahead and give it a sniff, see what we think. Oh, oh, that smells very woody, I think. Maybe, I don't know, it's not my favorite. Yeah, there's something a little strange about that. Not my favorite. I don't know. It's hard. maybe grass. That might actually be more of what I'm thinking. Yeah, not my favorite, but I think my son will have a great time with these bath bombs. He thinks they're really fun, so definitely going to give it to him. Here is the next product, which is one of my all-time favorite products from Fortune Cookie Soap. It is their whipped cream body butter. This one is in the scent Second Breakfast. Again, I have no idea what that is in reference to, um, but I love Second Breakfast. I mean, who doesn't love that? So let's go ahead and smell it first before we look at the notes and see. That definitely smells like breakfast. It smells very maple syrupy, I would say. Kind of, you know, pancakes and maple syrup. I like it. I think it's a good scent for this time of year, especially going into winter, you know, nice and warm and cozy smelling. So let's take a look here and see what the notes really are. Yeah, so they're saying there's maple butter, tonka bean, spiced eggnog French toast with berries and cream beneath the party tree of the Shire, okay? Um, but yeah, that smells really nice. I like it. Very nice and warm and cozy, like I said. Next product I've got here is just in like a little black jar. There's no kind of marking on it, so I have no idea what we're getting into here. Uh, but let's take a look at it. Oh, and there's like a little safety seal on there. Um, oh, okay, you know, it looks kind of like it's a sugar scrub of some kind. There definitely looks to be some sugar crystals in there. Uh, so let me see if I can figure this one out. Um, cuticle butter, maybe? Is that what this is? All right, so maybe those are not sugar crystals. It does look kind of crystally though, but they're saying that there's a cuticle butter in here, um, and it kind of looks like this might be that. So let me go ahead and take a little bit out, and we'll test it. Okay, yeah, it's not it, it's not sugary like I thought. It was like a sugar kind of scrub. That's not what it is. I guess the product just settled a little bit strangely because um, it is. Uh, very emollient and just kind of all melting together. There's no sugar crystals in there, um, but it is quite thick. Uh, so that'll be really nice going into winter to put on my nails. And let me see what I think it smells like. Oh, up, up close it doesn't smell the best, I'm gonna say. I don't know. Again, you know, as I go through these videos, all the scents kind of just start to blend together, but I don't know, it's not the worst. It's definitely usable, but it's not something that I think I would seek out, if that makes sense. Um, but the texture of this is really, really nice. Um, it's just, it's very, very oily and moisturizing, which is nice for your cuticles, especially going into winter. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Um, all right, but let me go ahead and tell you what the scent is called and we will see what it's uh, what's in it. This one is, again, the cuticle butter and it is called King's Foil. Then the notes on this one are lemon zest, iced raspberry blossoms, wild Numenor mint, maybe? Uh, moss and watered grass. Um, yeah, I think the moss and the watered grass are kind of throwing the scent off a little bit for me. I'm not really smelling lemon in there or raspberries. Um, yeah, very, very interesting scent, um, but I will definitely use the product. I think that's gonna be great for the winter. All right, so I think there's still three products left to go. I will pull out the perfume oil. This is one of the products that we get in absolutely every single box. Not sure what they're going to be doing now for the monthly boxes, if they're going to be doing, you know, the same kind of products every single month. I think that might get a little bit boring, but I don't know. Um, and I cannot read the label that is, yeah, that's not printed very well. So let's go ahead and look at the card and see what, uh, see what this one is called. So the perfume oil is called I Am No Man, and the notes are uh, sultry dark amber, delicate lilies, uh, growing on the plains outside Edoris. Again, I don't, I don't know what any of these references are. Uh, white sandalwood and wild strawberries in the fields where the Rorham rides free. Um, okay, I, there are so many words I just don't know how to pronounce, and I apologize. Um, but let's go ahead and give this a smell, see what we think of it. I think I like it. It's kind of one of those scents that I like it when I first smell it, but then like the last part of the sniff is maybe not the best. And again, it could just all be the, all the scents kind of just melding together here, but let's see. Um, 
Yeah, I think I like all of those scents separately that are that are in here, but I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think I like it. I think maybe I'm just kind of you know smelling everything else. Uh, so yeah, I do I do think that smells nice. It's it's not probably my favorite scent in the box, but it's it's not bad. Sorry, I feel this video is going a little bit weird. Um, I haven't filmed in like two weeks, I think, so I'm just kind of out of that mode. And all of the words on, on the card are just really, really hard for me to pronounce, so that's kind of throwing me off. So I apologize if I feel a little bit weird um, or if I, you know, I'm coming across a little bit weird. Um, all right, anyways, moving on. Here's the second to last product, and there's a ton of glitter on there, which is fun. This is, of course, a candle. It smells very vanilla-y, I think. Let's see what they say about it. So of course this is their candle. This one is called You Shall Not Pass. And the notes on this one are uh, cashmere musk, French pear, tarragon, caramel, old Toby smoke clinging to an old gray cloak, and firewood doused in magic. I don't know, to me it smells kind of vanilla-y and there's no vanilla in it, but all those together smell very vanilla-y. So I don't know, it's just kind of a more of a basic scent I feel, but I definitely will um, burn it and give it a try and hopefully it you know creates a nice little aroma for me. But yeah, I think it smells very nice. So we have come to the final product in the box, and that is, of course, the customary fortune cookie soap. This one is called My Precious, which I do get that reference. I believe Gollum says that. Um, but that is what it looks like. It's like gold on one side, black on the other. Let's go ahead and pull out the fortune and see what it says. It says, fly, you fools, which I would assume is a quote from the book or the movie. Um, let's go ahead and give it a scent. Oh, and there's a little bit of a, like an iridescence to it as well. Um, that smells very much like floral, very florally, I would say. Definitely has got some kind of floral in there, so let's see here. Oh, uh, okay, no floral. They're saying that in here is spiced cranberries, mandarin, patchouli, and linen, bergamot tea leaves, and honey. Oh, to me it smells very floral. Uh, maybe it's the linen that I'm smelling. I don't know, this, I don't know, it smells a little mature, if you know what I mean. It's not my favorite. Yeah, so this, I don't know, as far as the scents go, I think in this box they've kind of been a little bit hit or miss. Uh, for me, I think my favorite scent was the first one that we tried, which was from the hand sanitizer. I really, really liked that scent. So if I were to buy anything from this collection, I think it would definitely be in the uh, Even Star scent. It was really, really nice. But all right, that was my very last Fortune Cookie Soap Soapbox unboxing here on my channel. Uh, I'm kind of sad about it, because even though I don't always love all the different scents of the products, it's so much fun to try all the different products. And I think the company does a really good job of coming out with new and innovative things to try. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try the, uh, I was gonna say body butter. No, this is the cuticle butter. That's something I don't think we've ever gotten in one of the boxes before. Um, and then I, you know, my son's gonna love the bath bomb, and I do really like their um, uh, shampoo bars. Those are really fun. And easy to use. So overall, I think there are some great products in the box, just some of the scents weren't totally my style, uh, but there, I don't think there was anything that I absolutely hated as far as the scents go, which is good. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today and watching my video. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads, which speaking of, hopefully in the next couple weeks I can get on a better uh, uploading schedule. This past month or so has just been super crazy for me, so I haven't been able to film a whole lot. But uh, going forward, hopefully I can start to get back into a little bit of a routine so I can upload at least once a week, maybe even a little bit more. We will see. Uh, but thank you again so much for watching. We can connect on Instagram. That will, of course, be down in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!